Example 4.4. In this example, we have an incompressible, inviscid fluid flow which steadily passes a ball of radius r. According to a more advanced analysis of the flow, the fluid velocity from point A to point B along the streamline is given by this equation, where V0 is the upstream velocity far away from the ball. We need to determine the acceleration experienced by the fluid as it flows along the streamline. The first step is to decompose the velocity into its components. We have a velocity vector which is given by V0, 1 plus R cube x divided by x to the third i. Notice that there is no component on the j or in the k axis, which indicates the velocity is only in the x axis, therefore this is simply lowercase u. This problem therefore is going to be a one dimensional and a steady case. Since we do not have any variable of time inside of the velocity profile. We also know that the problem is incompressible and inviscid. In order to calculate the acceleration, we're going to take the material derivative of the velocity u. Therefore, the acceleration is only going to be in the x-axis. We're going to write all the material derivative and then we're going to cancel the variables based on the information that we have in the problem. So we have du dt plus u du dx plus v du dy plus w du dz. Since we know that it's going to be one dimensional and it's in the x axis, we could get rid of the derivative on the y and the derivative on the z-axis. Since we know that it's going to be a steady, we could get rid of the derivative that we have with the t um, uh, with time. Therefore, we could find that, that the acceleration it is simply going to be the value of the velocity times the derivative of the velocity with respect to x. Since it's only a function of x, we could change the partial derivative into total derivative and we could write it in this way. So for us to be able to get the acceleration in the x-axis, we need both the velocity and the derivative of the velocity with the x-axis. We already have the velocity, so the only thing that we need to calculate is the velocity with respect to x. We take this equation, and I'm going to just multiply it out so that it's easier to take the derivative of it. So we're going to say v0 plus v0 r cube in x to the third. And this is going to be the velocity. If we take the derivative of this velocity with respect to x, this term is going to be equal to zero. And the derivative of this is simply going to be minus three v zero r to the third divided by x to the fourth power. Now that we have the velocity and the derivative of the velocity, we substitute it back into the acceleration and then we obtain v0 1 plus r to the third x to the third and we multiply it by negative 3 v0 r to the third x to the fourth so this is the value of the acceleration um, at any position of x if we want to evaluate at different points, for example, if we want to evaluate at A, where x is about, neg about negative infinity, we could say the acceleration, notice that the x is in the bottom, that tells us that the acceleration is approaching zero. If we want to evaluate it at B, where the value of x is equal to negative r, we substitute it over here, notice that this will cancel, and then it will also let us know that if we cancel this point over here, because this is going to be negative r um, to the third, and both of them are to the third, this is going to be negative 1. So 1 minus 1 will also give us 0. Please make sure that you are able to do the uh, material derivative, be able to cancel 
the terms in order to get the appropriate uh, information to calculate the acceleration with material derivative for this particular case.